Yeah, no, you ain't no psycho You're not like the others, no No changing behaviors Not sure how to act around you Hello, hello guys and welcome, welcome back to another banker. Welcome to another hey, interesting video. We are back again. <laughs> so people, you people should be relaxing and rest. Yesterday I made this video about Lenny Vice. Hey, Lenny Vice. And who? And Vini, Vini, Victor, Victor. Mm, this Kenyan, our Kenyan German couple. <laughs> Some people, not mm -mm, not many people, because you know, if you have been following the Black Beauty TV, guys, I always tell you that me, I don't have favorite. I only follow, I use their words <laughs> to do my reaction. Is what I see. That is why yesterday I said allegedly. Because I was not sure. The two of them, yes, have not come out. And some people are telling me. Like somebody say, oh, Bibi, I'm so disappointed you have already concluded. How do you know I've concluded? Is it my problem? No. And so people, oh, leave them, leave them. There is something that people don't understand. If you have been following me carefully, you know that I'm somebody that if something is not public, like part of public, I don't go into that. But anything that is in the public, guys, me, I go for it. And this situation, you don't, you don't tell people that they don't have right to ask them. Of course, because go to their first video from their channel. Their first video, they came two of them. Two of them opened that channel as they were still not yet married. Eh? One year ago or something like they were still fiancés or so, yeah. They were engaged. They were not yet married. They opened this channel as a couple channel together. And subscribers came together to support them as couple channel. Along the way, they got married through with these subscribers. So if something happened and suddenly one of them left, something, subscribers have the right to ask them. So people will say, oh, you are, you, are, you are talking too much. If somebody come to parade that, oh, husband, husband, or wife, wife, or oh, we are couple. Tomorrow, you didn't see these two people together. You have the right to ask. But if somebody has never parade a man, a husband or something, her wife should you ask? So it's just like this case is a public case and their subscribers are being left lost. And one thing is that none of them is mentioning this one is like that or this. They are not even mentioning their names. And they are not clearing like people are insulting him and they are not clearing if something is not happening. I'm telling you guys, they will come out and say, no, I just came to Germany to visit my family. And that is all. But when they are insulting him, people are bashing him, people are unsubscribing. And they kept it quiet. Nothing is being said. There is something fishing. I told you guys yesterday that the video that that guy said about the woman, what he said about Lenny, what this Vinny said about Lenny, I told you I would dig the video, and yes, I digged it. I have the video, I will show you video, this video. But before I even show you guys this video, I'm a reactor, right? Don't blame me for anything. All this thing is allegedly because none of them has come out to say this is what happened. Me, I'm just doing my reaction based on little, little things I see, like comments, section, how people are confused. And I went to their IG today, for example. I went to their IG because I really want to have something, like a little sign. That is how I do my reaction. When I went to their IG, this guy, Veni, he's the one controlling even the IG. As I'm doing this video now, as I downloaded that or screenshot that thing, it was 16 hours ago, he posted that on their story. So I don't know if after I post, I finish this video, whether you people will see that post he posted or not. So I have it. I'm going to put it here so that you people will know that it's coming from him, from their IG, not from me. That's why I tell you that anything I'm doing on my channel, anything I have in my hand, I will bring it for you so that because me, I don't use my words to do my reaction. I always use their words so that people understand that these things are not coming from me. What I go, you understand this kind of a thing. So he posted this thing on his IG. 
like you know if they if about good women and bad women how good women should be or supportive to their husbands they should not be telling people about their they should not be talking about their husbands how did he post this thing and he's having problem and it is hush hush that he's having problem with his wife now he's trying to he's bringing something like not saying what happened but throwing shades you know to his wife if not who posted those those things in there let's you know something so that you people will understand the ginger and the cocoa let us go and watch this thing he posted on his ig story i left his name there on top of it so that it will be an evidence that he is the one or they are the ones who posted this thing on their platform not me the black beauty tv let's go and watch it's a very short one and then we'll come back it's me daughter of the soil if you have not liked the video please kindly like the video if you have not subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe and be part of the carbon of the black beauty tv let's go guys Women don't challenge a man. That is a fallacy. A good woman inspires a man. We don't want to be challenged. The world is already challenging us, and we want to come home and be challenged again. There is no place we can extract peace and power from if you got the mindset where you think that's a good woman. You think you've been a good woman, but I'm challenging him. A good woman will inspire him, not challenge him. Cooperate with his plan. If he got a plan and you think, I don't know if this gonna work, use your divine femininity to figure out how to make it work, not go against it. Y'all have divine femininity, y'all are magical. Get with his plan, help make it work. A mature woman will respect you even when she mad at you. She ain't gonna tell you down. She ain't gonna tell people about your business. She ain't gonna tell people about what you did to her. She'll try to protect you. You know why? Because she loves you and she respects you. So guys, I hope you understand it because I had to put double music on it so that I don't get copyright. But I really wanted you people to hear what that post was saying. He is the one who posted that post on the IG to favor a man. I don't know, before we even go into the discussion, I told you guys that I have that video. Evidence, the biggest evidence that I brought from Yabu Hansi. I don't if I don't want anybody like yesterday. Let me correct this thing before we go into the ginger. Yesterday I said in my channel, I don't have I don't do racism here. Yes, I don't care whether you are white, I don't care whether you are African, we don't care whether you are from America. Anybody or anything that is wrong, that is what I go for it on my channel. If you are a black person, you did wrong to white person. I'm not going to support you just because me and you, we have the same color. No, I'm not doing it like that in my carbon. That is not my mission. If you are a white person and you did something to a black person, I'm not going to support you just because you are, you are a white or something. I'm not here on my color. That is what I said yesterday and that is what I have been doing. I have supported people that... Like, they have the same color with me. I have supported people that they are white. I have supported Chinese. I have supported people from Korea. So that is um, what I am for here is about you as a human being. I don't care about how you look like. I don't care. Wrong is wrong and wrong can never be right. That is my own motto. You understand? So yesterday I said this thing in my channel. And then one of... I don't know whether it's my subscriber or not, but somebody put a comment and said that I am calling Ro, that's Marwa's girlfriend, I'm calling her Salvador, that is racism, that is, it has nothing to do with racism. You cannot just call maybe one month, two months, you start watching me and I'm calling her Salvador and you think that is being racist, never. I call Mayukuno, Mayukuno is a black man from Yabuhanze and I call Mayukuno the horseman. Will you say it's racism? I call Marwa, king of the swamp. He's a black man. I called him Wangwa Gama. Mwatago, I called David Junior, Jigolo Master. I called Casta Castro. I called Nasto Nastro. What you are, you guys, are you understanding? So all these guys that I'm telling you these names, eh? They are all like Chris Moslis, I call him Christopher Moslisi. So those are my words that I just do on my channel. I ask nothing. Are you going to tell me now that I'm racist against Marwa, Dimwango, uh, and Mayuguno, Nastro, Nastra, Castro, Castra, Gigolo Master? Are you going to tell me that it's racism? No. 
Not only because I call the other one Salvador, because she's having another color and I call her Salvador. And now you want to change the narrative. Please take this thing out of my channel. I'm not a, I'm not a racist person. I don't have favorite on my channel. That is why I always tell people, if you are subscribing on my channel, you have to subscribe because you love what I'm doing. Not because today I'm favoring somebody you love. That is why you subscribe. Because tomorrow I can also see what, maybe that person did something that is not nice and I correct it, I say it the way it is. That is how I am here. I'm not here to fight for any color. Never ever. That is my own. But I am a proud African woman. I love my culture. I love my country. I love my people. At the same time, I hate injustice. That is why I am here. So if you are my, the same color with me, and you think you can go and do something that is not right to somebody that is white and I support you just because we come from Africa together. I don't, I don't function that way. No. If somebody also, maybe a German or somebody, you treat my brother also bad. If really it's your fault, I will hammer you. The other, let, let's go to the main video of our, today's video. When this guy, Veni and the wife, they went to Kenya, uh, they went to uh, Iyabohanze to visit Baba Marwa. Baba Marwa opened his mouth and asked this boy and said, people always ask me why I'm following white women. Now I want to ask you, why do you go with white women? Why do you choose this woman? What did this boy say? The boy opened his mouth, this Veni opened his mouth and said, I made that video before. I told you guys I will search it. Even some people were not, were not in good terms with me when I did that other reaction. This guy opened his mouth and said, I chose her because I like white and she's white. Is that why you should love somebody because the person is white? Which means you don't love the person. That, is, that was what I said. I said, you cannot say, why didn't you say? Then the girl now, uh, I say, uh -uh. the girl now replied him. The woman said, so do you love me just because I'm white? That is when he now say, I like where you, where you, the way you are. I love you for who you are. You are kind. No, but your word, the first thing that came from his mouth, why do you choose this woman? He said, I chose her because I like white and she is white. Is that one love? Why do you want to now say that? What the Black Beauty TV? Is saying it's not true. Do you want me to change the narrative? For me, that is not love. You cannot say you love somebody because the person is slim, the person is fat, the person. No, you love somebody because of the because of that person, because the way you take the person who he is. When you are talking in a public, if you don't know how to talk, you have to arrange your law, your talk. And now that this thing happened, I said I will bring the video. It is my job. I'm a reactor. I do comedy, I do reaction. So it is for you to now understand that I'm just a reactor. And when you do something, I'm not going to favor you. I use their words. Let us go and watch this video where he said that thing with his mouth, that he loves this woman just because of she's white. It's not me who said it, he said it himself. So when the Black Beauty TV said that there is no love, and some, one person, sorry guys for dragging you back because I have to explain this thing very well. Someone also commented on my channel yesterday and said that I have concluded that this guy, that what me, I said, did you hear yesterday my video? Go back and watch my yesterday video. Where did I mention that the guy is cheating on the woman? And if I clickbait my videos and say toxic husband, did I say it in, in my video? No. That was a title. You have to come here and listen to what I said. Did I open my mouth and say he left the woman because he's with another woman? I didn't say so. But this particular person commented and said, Oh, why do I say that? Did I see, ever see the man? Where did you get that? Not in my channel. Maybe you got it from somewhere. If you have been watching me, guys, you know, that me, the Black Beauty TV, I don't have favorite. Please, have it in mind. I go with what people do. Even if you are my enemy and somebody treats you bad, I'm not going to support that person just because you are my enemy. I go for what you do. Let's go up and watch, guys. Too much of talk. Hmm? So, 
Bro, if you feel we you've talked too much, just say Maro. <laughs> you know, I don't yeah, push it. Yeah, yeah. You know, my videos are one hour, so sometimes they can be a little intense. Even me as the creator, sometimes. All right. I get it, I get it. So, guys, welcome again to today's vlog. Today we have uh, introduce yourself. Guys, or they say ladies first. Oh, they, ah, yeah, ladies first. <laughs> okay. okay. My name is Leni. I'm okay. from Germany. Okay. Uh, I'm a social worker and content creator and this is my husband. <laughs> and uh, my name is Vincent. Okay. I go by the name Vin. Okay. And uh, I'm a dancer, All I'm right. a fitness model All and right. also I'm a content creator. Okay, I want actually you guys to open your YouTube channel here. I like when, but in this case I'll put your link here. Ah, yes. But I like, I, I, I like the fact that, uh, uh, let me see if we can do that. I like when I show people your YouTube channel because other people watch from big TVs. They can pause right there and search on their phone. True, true. Because not everybody has the time to go in the link. And yes, guys, this is their YouTube channel right here, guys. It's, uh, let me see if I get it right. It's right there. Vinny and Lenny. So you're the Vin? I'm Vin. Vin. Is <laughs> yes. Vincent is your full name? Yeah, Vincent is my full name. But and Lenny. That's like my real name is Lena. Lena. Oh. That's the nickname is Lenny. So okay. we used both of our nicknames. All right. I think when I was somewhere in Brazil, I saw your story. There was a lady who makes videos about interracial couple. Miss Rich. Miss Rich. Yes. Yes. Uh, Miss Rich, big shout out to you. And that's the first time I actually knew about you. I saw a big story over there. I was like, okay. Because I was also following a story of. Uh, a lady who left Canada to live in Kenya and they live somewhere in the farm. I don't know if you've oh, seen yeah, that. Yeah, oh, yeah, I've yes, seen I've seen, seen them as well. Yes, that was the first video suggested. Mm -hmm. And I said, this channel looks like an interesting one. Then I watched you. So, Vin, uh -huh. you know, me as Marwa, they always kill me here on YouTube. <laughs> they say I like white girls. So, <laughs> why, why, why did you choose a white girl? I mean, or did, uh, hey. I didn't even like we were not even meant like it wasn't supposed to happen yeah but this was supposed happened. to happen yeah it was meant to be it was, it was meant to be, be. yeah, yeah. Yes, but i mean i like this white girl <laughs> i hope so <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> yeah you know so why did you choose a white girl yeah because i like white okay just like that <laughs> yes i thought you just like me um, of course i like you and your wife so i like you yes. okay yeah did i mean you, it's just happening. did you see the color or the person or no no i didn't see the color the oh. personality yeah. and uh she's so caring okay yeah and she's so nice okay yeah you know i wish my girl was here we would have mixed this all up yeah, yeah maybe she will join later right or she's um, busy the whole time yeah Guys, my girl slaughtered a chicken today. She slaughtered the chicken. <laughs> and then, full blast. Guys, we are not going to do long video today because we are only doing this their video. Maybe because I don't know what will happen later. Chewing chingom, ever, everlasting chewing chingom. I've never, when I talk like this, I don't know why people, I don't know why. See, when you are watching these YouTube videos, don't be taking this too serious like that. Me, this is my opinion, right? <laughs> I don't want you to buy it and I don't want to buy your own. Because we are unique in our own ways. The way I might see something is not the way maybe you see. Some people might see the same way with me. But the only thing that we should try is that don't come here and insult me because of my own opinion. I told you, me, I will not share my platform with you for you to insult me. Lie, lie. Because if I go to another person, I cannot go to his channel now and say what I'm saying in my channel. No, I cannot go there and be writing, typing comments. No. Everlasting chewing to go, a man, a husband. You go like this in the public, you are making video, you are nah, 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 nah. This is what this guy said. Last six months. How many? After six months, what happened? We are hearing. Nobody knows the truth that, uh, as I'm saying. Allegedly, but last six months he was asked. I did the reaction. I don't know why some people always tell people, like, this one is jealous, this one is jealous. You understand? Last six months I did this reaction. That how will you, how on earth they ask you about your wife? Why you chose your wife? The only thing that comes out of your mouth, the only thing you can tell the public as a public person. 
as a public YouTuber, as a popular YouTuber that people from different places watches you. They ask you, why do you choose your wife? The only thing, I chose her because she's white. What a nonsense. Is that one love? Or do you want me, the Black Beauty TV, to conclude it for him? Already he shows that there is no affection, that he got no affection for this woman as a woman, as a human. And when I see people, when things happen like this, I see people try to force people to be together. You are not living with this girl. This girl living Africa. Why you think that people are stupid? People are not stupid. Because anything you do, people see. You are coming after one year or how many years in, from Africa. Even though you will say that, okay, there are, like in Germany, she's coming to Germany, she's going to get everything. There are still things in Africa that this girl, maybe she like. And at least, even if she's coming to Germany, she will carry a suitcase. But somebody running for her dear life from Africa, after one year coming to see the parents only with a backpack, something is wrong somewhere. You wouldn't tell me like there are no souvenirs or how do you people call it? Like things, like her friends that she has not seen for one year and you prepare yourself, you are coming to visit your family, visit. At least she will carry all these small, small elephant, you know, those things, pictures and all those things from Africa to bring or even all these African sandals, African, you know, at least something unique from Africa. She will want to bring to her friends in Germany to see like show them oh this is how it is in Africa this this let me give you this souvenir from Kenya and all that somebody that you will see after a year like this just carry her backpack and is already in Germany something is wrong somewhere and you think that people will not ask definitely people will ask questions and when people ask and the worst one is that none of them says anything about the, the other person and this thing again that he posted on his IG, what does it tell you? A lot of people are saying a lot of things, but me, the Black Beauty TV, I don't really want to like stay particularly on what people are commenting on comment section because as I always tell you that me, I do my reaction based on what these people say, not based on what other people say. That is why I don't want to like put myself on the comment section and say, yes, this is what people are saying in the comment section. No. But through his post on IG, I know something is wrong. He's trying to tell us that his wife is controlling him. He's trying to tell us that the wife is challenging him. And as an African man, as I said yesterday, you know how our brothers, I am an African woman, oh, don't forget. There are some things that some of our brothers, they do. <laughs> I to, to be okay. That is the one thing I would just say. I don't want to say a lot. When you marry somebody from another culture, you should, you should have asked first. You should have asked, how do German women behave? This one you are writing, you are, you are posting on your IG that the woman challenged you. Like he said that the woman challenged you. Go and ask everybody in Germany. Women don't keep quiet. Like, because they will say you are a man, you have... In Germany, women and men are handled the same. In Watago, there is no difference of oh, a man, a woman. No, they are being treated as the same human. You understand? There is no, no favorite. In fact, some of the women, they are even the ones that have more power. So you should have asked. If you don't want a woman that challenges you, you don't want this woman to challenge you. I'm reacting now based on what he posted on his IG, not me. You don't want a woman that challenge you. Why didn't you take a woman from your village that knows your culture, knows this is the way, it, it is, this is how the tingo is. When you marry somebody from another place, you will try to balance your culture and the person's culture so that peace can reign. You know, you have to also adapt a lot of things. From that person. But if you say that you married a woman as, a, as an African man. You go and marry a woman from another culture. From Germany. A German culture. Maybe from America. And you think that you want this woman. To behave or accept everything that a, an African woman would tolerate from you. You are just making noise. You think it's being handsome boy. You think it's been having six pack. 
that is the cocoa, that is not the tingo. <laughs> you can even have 100 packs. Yeah? <laughs> if you cannot pamper this woman, the woman will leave you no matter how handsome you are. Because the woman is not going to chop being handsome. No. So you have to treat the woman as a queen. It's not by coming on camera and be showing people you are dancing with your woman together. Oh, people let this social media deceive them what is happening in, the, in 24 hours. Maybe the person is just giving you one hour of their day what is happening. The rest is the ginger, is the cocoa. You don't know how that person is doing. So people are saying, ah, ah, I said I don't want to real, uh, like to base on what people are saying. Mm -mm. I want to do it like what he posted on his community also. Saying that, like he said in that post says, a woman that loves her husband, she will encourage the husband, she will not go around. Like she will not go around telling people what the husband does. Now that is, he's trying to tell us that the wife goes around and be telling people their shenanigans or what he has been doing. <laughs> My brother, Muzugu, here in Germany that I am, even if you tell some people something, you beg them a secret not to tell somebody. As you're turning your back, they have posted it for you like everybody's known. I know this kind of character. This one, I will tell you the truth. You see this one that you say, the person, your wife or whatsoever, will go and be telling your things to other people. It's new for you. You should have asked questions. Yeah. Here, I don't know for that culture, but here in Germany where I am, I'm telling you, very few people will keep quiet, like, they will not say. Even if they tell you, they will not tell anybody. They hold it as confidential. They must tell one or two, three people. That is how the tingo is there. They did not learn to keep quiet. <laughs> I know we Africans, there are, I have to acknowledge this, you know, and even me, this thing sometimes used to get me crazy in Germany. Like we Africans, we are born and brought up. Like there are things that you leave them. The ginger, like if you tell somebody, please, I'm telling you this thing confidential. Don't ever take this thing out. The person, an African person will hold that thing. An African person will never say it. No matter what some Africans, they will keep that secret for you like this. Eh? But you see here in this Germany where I am, even me, the Black Beauty TV, let me tell you the truth. Even people close to me, sleepy, the same, I only tell them what I want the whole world to know. <laughs> if you want something that you say, this thing must be like private for me. Don't even trust them. Even if you are sleepy with the person, because if you say they must go and tell, that is the, that is the way they are born and brought up a lot of them. That is the ginger, that is, sometimes, even in the workplace, I don't trust anybody to tell. She came like this. Except maybe I'm working with a person who understands my culture, like Africa woman. Like maybe I know people from Cameroon. There's one woman like from Cameroon. There are some people from Kenya. Also, my sister. See this thing. Then we we'll just talk. We know ourselves, Africans. This is our culture. This is our. But you carry a Java person on top of that thing. Before you turn your back, everybody know it. That is the thing here. So you will not bring all those things and be throwing shit. At the same time, go back and watch their first videos. In how many African women, let us be sincere, me and part of African women, how many African women tolerate and take a man from nothing to something? Very few African women. But you see a woman that live her luxury life. Like she left every luxury life she has and then go and be managing in one room with you. This woman managing in one room with you, she did not leave you. She stayed with you. And that time she's managing with you. That time she's managing and taking all the nurses and saying, oh, you don't have money, no problem. We are going to grow together. We are still young. Things will get better. You did not show that woman that your real character. By the time you have washed yourself with YouTube money, you start eating money in YouTube, you start building homes for your family, that is the time you now show the woman this is your real character. You cannot do that one with African woman, no. <laughs> when I talk like this, that is why some people don't like me. Allow me to be saying it the way it is, guys. That is the truth. 
A woman that will take you along. Now you got money. You start working with your tummy. You have six pack. You are changing clothes every time. And by the time you start changing all those clothes, you are going to saloon to cut your hair, leave your rasta, buy different earrings and be putting in your nose. That is why when you start showing the woman, you, that is where you know that the woman is controlling you. When you start making money and the woman maybe gives you advice this, because let me tell you, German people, they don't waste money like that. Though. <laughs> if you don't understand the tingle, you better be asking questions before going into... German people, they are not extra. They have the money. You will see German people. If it is a French person, you will understand with you because they are extravagant. When you see a French, a somebody from France goes to supermarket, he will buy this, buy... He will pack the whole supermarket and put in their own wagon, trolley. They can even give 1000 for food. A, a French person will go and buy pack packs of apple, pack packs of yogurt, pack pack of meat. German people, they are very, very cautious when it comes to their money, how they take care of their things. They will buy one banana. Yeah, they will, in fact, they will count how many people are in the house to eat this banana this evening or how many yogurt, how many are we who want to eat yogurt. They don't waste things like that. You understand? They don't. They will go. Even if they want to buy kiwi, they will buy two. Do you people call it kiwi? We call it, yeah, it's kiwi, right? Kiwi, kiwi. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, you take it. So, they will buy one, oh. They will buy two apple, three apple. Maybe they are going to share two. It's not that they don't have the money. They have the money, but they are very conscious because they don't want to buy plenty things, keep it at home and spoil for nothing. Very, in fact, they are organized. When you talk about that one. So when you want to carry somebody from that side, you have to know that you're going to deal with a lot of things. It's a very different thing entirely. If you don't want a woman to control you, the best thing, marry a woman that understands your culture and accept it. Then you will not have these problems. Then you will just be the man that you want to be and the woman will never control you. The woman will tolerate you the way you are swimming in your culture. That is the tingle for me, the Black Beauty TV. I'm at the police station this morning. I just came to fetch the protection order that I've done against my husband. He has been threatening my life that I will die an untimely death due to the reasons that he doesn't want us to get divorced and share properties. He has been threatening me due to the things that I know that he has done. This man has tried his ultimate to remove me from my friends, from my family. But it has finally come out. Nothing is hidden forever. I have been married to a murdering ritualist. This man used our two-month-year-old daughter that passed away last year without being sick, without being anything, for money rituals. Since that last year till now, he has bought cars, businesses, all in the name of money rituals, all over my daughter's body, my daughter's blood. Anybody that sees this video, please know that I am fearing for my life. He has promised that I will die before my time. But God, I serve a living God. He cannot kill me. He cannot get away with it. He has tried to manipulate and turn people against me for years. He has done terrible, horrible things. But I will still make videos explaining year by year on how I was married to a ritualist and I did not know. But now I know. You can't touch me. You can't do anything to me. God is bigger than you. Last night, he had sending messages to my parents, threatening them, telling them that we want to get things that I never worked for. He picked me up from the gutter. This is the same man that has been using my miscarriages, my child. My daughter died last year when she was a healthy, healthy baby at two months. 
where after my daughter died, this man wanted no justice. He just wanted me to even forget that I even had a child. Asking me that he can buy me anything. He can do anything for me just for me to just forget anything. But just for me to stop asking questions and stop wanting to know what happened to my daughter. Only for in a space of a couple of months, it's gonna. It was a year in January since my daughter passed away. Before then, he has bought cars, he has bought houses, he has got farms in Nigeria, all using the blood of my daughter. You have no power over me. That untimely death that you think you are building for me, it will never happen. All your plans will never happen. I am not yours to kill. My son, you will not take him to Nigeria to continue your money rituals. You are lying to yourself. To anyone who knows this man, know that he's a ritualist. A money-driven ritualist. Ask yourselves questions. In a sp so guys, it is what it is. That is... Since we are talking about marriages, <laughs> that is why I brought this. Mm? I brought this video to tell people that uh, there is no marriage in heaven. It's not that I'm encouraging anybody. Mm -mm. It is good marriages. If you see good marriages, there are something to be admired. But when it is not working, don't kill yourself. You heard what this our sister from South Africa. Is talking about her Nigerian husband. Me in particular, <laughs> if it is true the person is doing like this, I will not support it. But there is one thing I just want to ask in this her own video. She's the only person who knows what she has been passing through. Nobody is there. It's just what she's telling us. According to her word is what I'm using. You said that somebody used your daughter. Somebody used your child. For money rituals. At the same time, you are talking about you wanting to share after divorce into, you want to share part of this property that is using as blood money from your own child. Does it make sense? It doesn't make sense. I don't even know how to judge this video. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, I'm not laughing of her own wahala. Mm -mm. I'm just laughing of. How do I connect this video? How do I really judge this video? You said somebody buy your child. Somebody buy your child and use the, your child for money rituals to get money. At the same time, you want to take that blood money from your picking. Ah uh ah! -uh. Some of our some of our sisters. Mama. Yeah. If I just see sad, like you know, if I was the one. And I just see like, oh, my husband, really, my husband is using Ojuju Kalaba to do money. <laughs> you don't even need to tell me to run for my dear life. And when I run for my dear life, I will never want to share in that money. Even one cent like this, I will not want to collect it. But you know, people are different. If you say that this is what your husband did, our sister from South Africa. If true, your husband, I don't even want to say it's true or it's not true. It's only you that knows what you are passing through. That is why I don't even know what to talk about this video. So if you know how far you can contribute with your own guys on the comment section. Because me, the Black Beauty TV in particular, this is what the only thing I have to say in this video. But there's this other video that I'm going to be playing it. And I always ask myself, well, should I post this video or should I not do it? I just say, okay, let me just say something about it. Not much. I'm not going to say much about it. I get the, I got this video on IG. After watching this video and see how people were laughing. You know, in life, when you don't have money, people begin to look at you like you are nothing. But the reality is that you don't need to look down on anybody because of they are poor. Poor in what I always say in my carbon, poor in money. Because you can be poor in money and at, at the same time. You can be rich in other things. Somebody can be very rich in money. And there are things that that person can lack. So I always see a lot of this particular, like this type of weddings. I always see these uh, people laughing at these poor people 
on IG. Maybe they waited and that way there is no flashy, like they don't have money, like to do the odd, like, you know, wedding. This type of wedding, they will last than people that spend millions in doing their wedding. So I don't know why people always laugh. Like you see how they, these guys are working, the environment, like the moody area. You should at least be happy for these people that at least they are even able to gather their community to come and like participate in their joy that they got married. There are people that just even just go and just start giving birthday. Nobody share in that their joy that day. So not because they don't have money to do flashy wedding or have a wedding hall to decorate and do things. Allah, let them enjoy. Have, enjoy and accept them the way they are in their own environment. Money is not everything in this world. When I see people, Africa people displaying this thing on IG, the thing used to make me, I don't know sometimes how to, it, it's painful, but people laugh at it. And people will be insulting, oh, what kind of wedding? Oh, look at them. It's not nice. It is their wedding. It is their wedding day and they found joy in that thing. So people will be laughing at them. I know some makeup sometimes they used to look really. But these people leave them to enjoy in their own happiness. There is no how to laugh at them just because they don't have money to do the type of wedding that you, you might be thinking. Most importantly, God has blessed that marriage. God has blessed that wedding. Just the way you can go and do flashy wedding, spend millions, is the same uh, marriage vows that you people take. So why laughing at them? That is, I never wanted to talk something about this video, but I'm seeing these videos. Too many, too many on IG laughing at these poor people marriage. I like them. This is what they can provide. This is the, this is the only thing they can do for themselves. It's not about how big the marriage is. They might tomorrow have children and the children are going to be big presidents in, in this life. So you see that your life is like this today does not mean that your life is going to be like that forever. No. What I go, that is the only thing I have to say in today's video. And I think we need to close for the day because today we need a Sunday. We have to prepare. Thank you guys for always coming to support the Black Beauty TV. Please as I always tell you that everything I do here is for entertainment. Don't take reaction to hard too much. Eh? We are here to say it the way it is. Have a wonderful Sunday. And we'll surely see you again in another banga. Thank you. Thank you. If you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe and like the video. Bye-bye. I love you guys. Content creator mouse, but skin is what they keep. Where will as they spin? The promises so far, but when it comes to truth, they never told the lie. Invest with me, they say your money's gonna go. But once you take the bait, the pockets start to go. Never heard smiles while hearts inside they bleed. A philanthropist man's driven by pure greed Truth gets twisted, lines all fade away In the bonds, this game where fortunes are made Living flashy on the surface, but inside it decays Built upon shattered dreams and stolen paydays